Hey there awesome people, how's it going? It's Kiltanth here and welcome back to another video of mine which I'm gonna show you my current flicker track build. I'm not gonna talk about the passive skill tree a lot in this game because it will be linked down in the description below and like I I'm probably I probably suck at explaining things uh, about like what I did with this tree but let's have a quick look here. Uh, when I start leveling, I went straight down here and picked Master of the Arena and then Art of the Gladiator because like they give you that early damage you need and some strength too, some dexterity too. And then I picked Destroyer here which gives you massive increase to your damage with two-handed melee weapons. With this flicker strike, like uh, other than like different from other flicker strike because you're gonna use two-handed weapons and after picking destroyer I went straight to the uh, resolute technique by picking warrior's blood, heart of the warrior, born to fight and butchery and then I also had these notes here before uh, but then I refunded them because I I didn't need them and I picked some life notes here so I went straight to resolute technique because you have to hit your targets like there shouldn't be a possibility where you miss your hit so resolute technique is good and then since you're not gonna need life until like uh, mid mid 60s you have to pick some damage nodes so I was using axe before my current weapon which is starforge I was, I was using axes and I picked cleaving and slaughter and then I came back here and I picked splitting strikes then after leveling to like 75 76 I forgot I switched to uh, starforge and then refunded all these points and picked blade of cunning from like the left side um, and refunded these points slaughter and cleaving uh, tree and picked razor's edge and blade master and before that the first damage nodes i picked at like 20 or 30 level were executioner and wrecking ball so uh you already should have enough damage to one shot almost like all monsters at like level 40 or 50 so life shouldn't be a problem for you but don't forget to pick hematophagy or the fuck ever it's called because you're gonna you're gonna need a lot of uh life leech and it's it's not gonna be from your uh it's not gonna be from your support gems and also um and also don't forget to pick uh life nodes with bloodless and then go back here and pick constitution and path of the warrior and also these life notes here because they're gonna help you and the last thing the last two uh what are they called last two notes you should pick are blood magic and iron reflexes iron reflexes is not necessary actually but i was like kind of um kind of like uh evasion niche and armorish build but i didn't need evasion so i picked iron reflexes at like 75 76 level and then i picked blood magic when i um when i reached like 4k hp and you you're also gonna pick like uh, mortal conviction it's good and since this build is poison and bleeding build you're gonna have to pick dirty techniques with these three nodes here and also bloodletting with like yeah bloodletting basically i thought there's a note here no it's basically bloodletting straight to bloodletting so uh yeah this is my flicker strike build let's have a, a quick look at the uh what is this items so i'm using starforge with ancestral warchief blind support melee physical damage faster attacks and added fire damage added fire damage is like 
I was too lazy to change it because you, you're not gonna hit uh, any elemental damage so edifier damage is just like not not there you're not gonna hit any uh, elemental damage because you you're gonna use starforge if you have if you can afford it and then with the sixth link I'm using flicker strike melee splash increased AoE melee physical damage multi strike and faster attack support you can check the rest of the build uh, from the link in the description below and if you're gonna pick if you're gonna like uh, do the poison and bleeding uh, bleeding version of this flicker strike build you should have a void heart so uh, yeah the rest of the build is you can check it from the link in the description below so um, yeah enjoy the video and I'm going to see you guys on my next video.